Good evening, it's Sunday and I kind of just feel like painting, so let's grab some supplies and see what we can come up with. is actually filmed quite a while ago if you saw my Christmas haul you will have seen that I got a very nice new more efficient and sturdy easel um, instead of this quite flimsy one here but um, yes like I say this this first part of the video is filmed quite a while ago and then the second part is a bit more recent um, but I just felt like painting I just really wanted to play with some paint and to play with oil paints actually I've not used my oil paints for a while I think my last oil painting was when I was comparing the cheaper versus a lot slightly more expensive oil paints um, so I just wanted to play with those and so I pulled out a, um, a canvas that was previously had this underpainting on which I never actually came of anything so I thought I would reuse it and not waste it. It was a bit slack so I sprayed a little bit of water on the back just to create a bit more tension in the canvas um, and then I went about creating a new underpainting. So firstly I found a reference photo from Pixabay of a woman kind of with some sunglasses on in a bit of a moody atmosphere and it was it was quite highly pink. The tone of the paint the reference photo was very pink so I thought why not create a little bit of a pink underpainting so I got some of my diner paint which I think this is the Dela and Roni studio paints um, and this diner paint has a little bit of blue in it so at certain lights you get a bit of a blue tinge to it and I thought I'd make quite a nice little underpainting to pull it all together so I just slathered on a really nice acrylic base and I go in um, with acrylics first just because you can actually apply acrylics over oils I'm sure a lot of you artists out there know that but um, so it's better to paint your underpaintings in acrylic and then go over the top with oil paints rather than the other way round so that's what I did here just creating that underpainting Instead of battling with grid methods or scaling up my image I actually pulled out my projector and projected it on here and I left the image really blurry at first also I do apologize for the film quality it was very dark in the studio here at this point when I was using the projector so I didn't get a crisp quality bit of footage here but I left it blurry just to block out the color and the block out the shapes of the image and um, it just made it a lot easier and I just went in there with some more washes of acrylic to kind of just flesh out a bit of those tones and then I sharpened the image up as you saw there and went in with a marker pen um, it was actually a paint marker just to draw out the outline so that I could go in with a bit more detail um, and then my final acrylic coat was just this yellow just really loosely on just to bring out the lighter areas of the portrait and leaving the pink as they were um, so then I went into choosing my oil paints so I did a mixture of oils um, I don't can't quite remember all the colors but there's probably some burnt sienna some burnt umber and this the raw versions of those as well as well as some vermilion and some probably yellow ochre and some other yellows in there just to bring out and pull out the tones of this very pink and warm yellow kind of portrait image that I have um, and I just went about starting to mix these up so I do have this little medium um, gel gel medium I don't know I've never seen it before but I saw it in an art shop on offer once and it says that it apparently it it allows you to mix your oil colors with water so it almost turns them from a an oil medium into a water soluble oil medium with this gel and it, I think the ratio was like 30% uh, or something um, of the gel medium to paint ratio so I did go ahead and mix this up but to be honest it uh, it didn't I mean I had I ended up adding a lot more of the gel medium to the paint 
um, but even then water kind of didn't really wash the paint off and I felt like it was a bit of a waste of time and I shall not be using it again for this painting I do not think maybe I'll try it again in the future so if you know more about that gel medium please drop me a comment because I'd love to know how you use it effectively because I don't think I was using it properly at all and <laughs> um, so then I mixed up this kind of very light light color I picked out the lightest color in my reference images because I tend to work from light to dark um, and just smothered that on the entire face of this woman here that I'm painting um, which worked out quite nicely what I love about oils is that you can just continue to blend them for days after you've put that paint down and I think this this part of the footage the more recent part is me doing this over multiple days kind of after work just applying more paint then looking back and seeing which bits I didn't like and reapplying and removing the paint it's just a beautiful medium to work with if you have time and you have space to allow it to dry um so yeah I, sh I struggle with the nose on this I didn't feel like the reference photo had kind of showed the other side of the nose in there and I just really struggled to get the shape of that and flesh it out and I probably went a little light with the skin tone and the shading and the colours I kind of went a bit safe with them so I definitely think I will be coming back to this in the future um but I think overall I got a good base layer down of the face I didn't go in with much detail on the eyebrows or other areas um, I just kind of covered off the main features and the main first layer of the face for this video and really enjoyed it I enjoyed kind of playing with the the paint a little bit and getting back into oils um, and I, I leave this to dry and it is currently dry sat waiting for the next layers of paint um, but I thought I would just film this first section for you it's going to be a big painting and it's going to take me quite a while so I thought let's do kind of a part one for this video and maybe make this into a little mini series of me continuing this painting and developing my skill because painting people is not something I do very often I'm really trying to develop that skill if you've been following me on Instagram at Lucy Lux Art you will have seen I've been painting a lot more portraits and having a little bit more fun um, not just painting animals and, and pet portraits so um, it's just something I'm trying to develop and for a big painting where I can really flesh out these features on a larger scale would help me quite a bit and get back into oil paints really so I hope you're I'm going to stick with me on this journey and follow me for some more so maybe hit that subscribe button if you're new here and hit the notification bell so you know when I am posting hopefully it won't be too long in between each episode let's say of this painting um, and hopefully we can get it done and see what the finished result is in a couple more videos maybe so I hope you stick around so thank you very much for watching I hope to see you in the next video bye bye Oh,